Hi everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to change your background inside of Google Meet. So if you're using Google Meet for a conference or for a video call, you could actually put a custom background, which is a new update from Google. Now, before you could have changed your background, but it was limited to the background that Google gave you. So I'm gonna show you that too in this video, but the new update and the exciting update is that you could now put whatever you want yourself. You could upload an image, for example, that you have downloaded as your background. Now, the only thing is, if you are using this video to go to the internet, to go on YouTube or have it publicly hosted, you should use a background that doesn't have copyright. So don't just get your background from Google if you're using the final product, final video, in a public setting or if you're going live on TV, for example, in an interview. I'm gonna show you a website and I'll link to that in the description below where you could get copyright free images for relatively inexpensive. For everyone else that's doing this for personal reason, that doesn't matter. Let's jump in here on Google Meet and I'll show you how to change your background before a meeting and during a meeting. So let me show you how to do this before a meeting starts. So I'm just here on meet.google.com and if you click a link, if someone sends you an invite link and you click that, it's already gonna bring you to the next page right after this. So either way, this is all before a meeting. And here, if I'm hosting the meeting, I'm just gonna press new meeting. If you have a link, you could put it over here or just click the link. But I'll just start an instant meeting. And that should bring you to this page before a meeting starts. Now, no one could see this page, so you could actually change your background before you start a meeting. This is also a place where you turn off your microphone and your camera. But the change background option is right here in this corner. Let's go ahead and click it. And you could see all these options here on the bottom. Now, right now, I don't have any background and you could just see the room here. But there's a couple of options, which is slight blur. This is gonna blur the background, which this looks very professional. I prefer this. There's another one that blurs it a lot. It looks kind of fake. You could see some of the edging here. And you could choose any of these backgrounds here. So let me choose this background. So any one of these natural backgrounds looks a lot better than something like this. So choose them here. But this is the big update that I wanted to show you right here. It says choose image from disk. Let me press that. And right on my desktop, I have downloaded a couple of different office images. So I could actually put any of these or really whatever I want, whatever is on my computer. But let me choose Office 2 here, press enter, and it's gonna put the image that I just uploaded as my background here. The only thing I wish they had is I wish you could press blur while you uploaded your image and kind of combine the blurriness of the background with the image that you uploaded, which you cannot do. But at any time, you could go ahead and upload another image as your background if you don't like what you see here. Once that's done, you could go ahead and press join now. And now you're inside of the meeting with the background that you selected. Inside of the meeting to change your background, all you have to do is press the three dots right here and you could go ahead and change your background here. And it brings you to the same menu that we already looked at. Basically, you could have no background which shows you the room or you could blur your background or you could upload your own image. I'll choose a different office image here. And there you have it. Now this is the background that I have. Now, if yours doesn't look very professional and if you need it to look professional, what you wanna do is you wanna put a solid color behind you. So I usually put a green fabric, which is called green screen, and I'll put a link to one in the description which you could buy with stand and you just put it right behind you and it makes your background look perfect. Basically, the way it cuts you out from your normal background and puts you in the virtual one makes it look very, very professional and natural. That's if you need to do that. So for example, if you're recording this for professional reasons, or maybe you're doing a TV interview, that's what you wanna do. And this is the other website that I mentioned that I have linked in the description below, where you could look up office backgrounds, and then I search without people, which is an option here on the left side. And any of these, a lot of them even come blurry, which makes them a lot more professional like this one. You could then go ahead and download these and use them as your background. If you're using this final product and you're recording your meeting and you wanna post it on YouTube or a public place where you can't just use any copyrighted image from Google. This doesn't matter for personal use, but I wanted to include it here just in case you're doing this for professional use. Now this is limited right now to google.com, but if they bring it to the mobile app, I'll make another video and I'll put that in the description below this video on how to exactly do that on the Google Meet app. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.